come through all of here, so quads, hams, glutes, adductors, deep hip internal external rotators, iliac and psoas. So we haven't got down to feet yet, but for this, what I want you to think of is the stuff that we talked about yesterday as far as the screen goes, and we were talking about how important single leg squat is in your assessment of function. Okay, so we talked about the importance of, so give me a couple of reasons why single leg squat is important. Stair climbing. Okay. What are we really it's looking at when we look at pronation. supination, pronation? Okay, accepting pronation, being able to eccentrically load through pronation. And then we talked about how then, then, then we can release the energy and get into supination. So if we're not loading through supination or pronation, then it's going to be really hard to unload through supination. Okay. So when I talked about pronation yesterday, we talked about that it's eccentric, that it's energy storing, that is adduction, flexion, and internal rotation, not only of the foot, but the knee, the hip that feeds up into pelvis, lumbo, pelvic range of motion function. Okay. Everybody got that? All right, so now tell me what position this would be assessing muscle-wise that we learned today in your neuromuscular facilitation test. The fastest lateralis. Okay, fastest lateralis. And what else? Just, uh, pronation. Um, hamstrings. Yep. Medial group of hamstrings, right? Yes. So similar <laughs> position. Is this the same position that they have to stabilize when they do single leg squat? Okay, so now this is telling you if they can't do a single leg squat, I'm already thinking when I put them on the table, semitendinosus membranosus, vastus lateralis, what test is this for? Tensor fascia lata. Tensor fascia lata. What else? Gluteus Min. minimus. How about this? Medius. Gluteus medius, all pronators, all eccentric loaders. So now the light bulb should be going off and going, oh, that's why that was happening with the single leg squat. Those are the things that I'm going to test when I put them on the table. That's going to let me know if what I saw on the squat was exactly what was going on. So I'm not guessing. So the guesswork of normal PT evaluation is gone because I'm, I'm going to say, I think I see something happening here. There's no way I can say that's a gluteus medius gait or that's a Trendelenburg gait because of gluteus medius. Not gonna happen. But what I can say is I know that vastus lateralis, semitendinosus membranosus, gluteus medius minimus, tensor fascia lata, soleus, because now we're doing this also, loading through uh, flexion here, and our soleus is primarily a knee flexor, not a plantar flexor. All that stuff fits together now, so when I put them on the table, this makes sense, and I can say, yes, they failed three muscles that would have helped them had those muscles had normal facilitation in the functional screen. So now when I get them up, I'm gonna prove my work and say, okay, now let me see you do a single leg squat. They're gonna do a single leg squat with normal pronation, supination, control, no pain, normal function, and now I just proved what I thought was going on was going on. So there's no more guessing. Oh. <laughs>